What's going on guys? We had a driver come in complaining the AC was not blowing cold in his truck. We diagnosed the problem as the expansion valve leak and also a close up look at our new Snap On Polar Tech AC machine. You guys take a look. Man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times a hard in Mississippi. What's going on, guys? Today we got a Peter built in the house and the driver's complaint is the AC is not blowing cold. So we're going to diagnose the problem, show you guys what we found and what we're going to do to fix it. Y'all take a look. All right, guys, we went over everything with our UV light. We don't see any leakage. The only thing we do see is the expansion valve. It's got a lot of dirt built up around it. Looks like it may have been leaking. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna clean that bad boy off. We're gonna tear it apart and replace the O-rings in it, pull a vacuum, see what happens. So we got our machine already hooked up and uh, we've recovered what Freon it we had. It was just a touch over a pound, supposed to be four pounds in it. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and get this thing cleaned off and we'll show you guys what's going on. All right, guys, we got the uh, Expansion valve cleaned off. You can tell it looks a whole lot better. So we're gonna give that a second to air dry, and then we're gonna get in here and tear it apart. All right, as you can see, the breather box is gonna be in the way for trying to get those bolts right there out. So first thing we're gonna do is yank this breather box off here, and that way we can get to everything. So we'll get that done and show you guys what that looks like. All right, guys, you can see we got the uh, air box off there. So we fix and cover that up, keep all the dirt and the goblins and gremlins from getting in there. And then we finally get to what we're working on here. On bales used in a 10 millimeter get that off there and we can pull it out. Replace some new O-rings. I got a new O-ring kit here. We'll just match up the size and uh, stick them on the front side and we'll get the back side lines off and do the same thing there. All right, here's what it looks like from the front side when the line's removed. You can see there's two little islands here. We're going to have to pull that off so we can get to the lines on the back side of it. All right, we got it off there. That's the back side. These are the two O-rings that come off of it. As you can see, it looks like it may have a little nick or chew mark on it. There's the two off the lines. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna match them up. Look here, boys. I'm using Mac Genuine Parts on a Peter car. Get them cheaper from my dealer there. Anyway, so we're gonna go through here and we're gonna find the four that's gonna match up the closest and we'll stick it all back together. Y'all take a look. All righty, I dug through my little pack. You can see these right here are the same size as the old ones. Same way with this one. These are the two new ones, there's two old ones. So what I'm planning on doing now is trying to clean this grit and stuff out. You can see it's got a little dirt up here in the top. Clean all this up good and then we'll be ready to try her back. All right, you can see she looked more better now. Got both sides clean. So we're gonna take it back over there to the truck. And give her a trial fit. Stick O-rings on and see what happens. You can see Bill's putting a little old ring grease on her. That one line, if you can see, show it to them there, Bill. It had a little bitty tiny flat spot in it right there. And Bill worked his metal magic to straighten her back out. I'm gonna stick the old rings back on it. 
get the expansion valve put back in. the little allen screws put back in it and then we'll get the front side put on get the two plugs back on the top and we'll see what happens at that all right before i tighten these bolts down on the front to hold the expansion valve on i'm going to come up here and, and look make sure the lines are going in there straight so that way we don't pinch an o-ring going back in with it looks good to me all right we're going to get these two allen heads Tighten back up, and we'll show you what to do on the front side. All right, folks, these screws are small. You don't want to put too much torque on them. and end up breaking them off, stretching them out. Should be good. And be gentle with it. Make sure you got all the dirt cleaned off the lines. Sure you start your line straight, wiggle them in, whatever you gotta do. You ain't got a whole lot of room you can move around with this. Just about can't put a socket on there and get it on straight. I'm using a wrench to tighten it down. Once again, the small as these bolts are, you don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on them. Okay. All right. We got the plugs up here on top. As you can see, uh, we didn't mark them. One's twisted, so we knew that went on the top one. And then the one that wasn't twisted goes on the bottom one. So, saved us a little bit of trouble having to mark some stuff. All right, we got that back together. We're going to go over here to our AC machine. We'll show you guys what's next. All right, well, we're here at our snap-on Polar Tech machine. I'm going to go ahead and have it do a vacuum. I got it a manual procedure. Pull a 25 minute vacuum and have it checked for five minutes. We always use the trip number instead of uh, a license plate number. So we connect your fittings. Real simple, you just have your valves open here. Open this bad boy up. Behind low pressure sides and hit a button. That's that's pretty much it. And the machine will start counting down and working its way through it. 
After it gets done with that, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a little oil on some of the oil that we missed, or missed, that leaked out. So we'll show you guys what that's gonna do, and we'll charge her back up and see what happens. It'll give us just about 24 minutes. I ain't gonna make y'all wait that long. That's what's cool about this. We'll be back in just a bit. All right. She got through running her test, so it's saying to close and disconnect the valves, which we're gonna leave them hooked up because we gotta recharge it, but we're gonna close it and see what this bad boy tells us to do. Well, she passed. So we're gonna get her charged back up. I'll show you guys what all that looks like. All right, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and shoot a little oil back in it since we did lose some. We're gonna have it to do uh, one ounce. We're gonna put four pounds of Freon back in it. And that's it. We just, uh, it's adding the oil now. We just let her run through her system. She'll beat and tell us to crank the truck. And we'll go from there. As you can see, this thing is just shoving her on in there. When it goes to the next step, it's gonna ask us to crank the truck up, and turn on my AC, and I will uh, let you guys see what that looks like. All right, as you can say, see it saying disconnect the high pressure coupling, start AC system with low pressure coupling, connected and press enter. So we gonna do what it says. Give that a few minutes, see what's going on. and 50 degrees so that should make a driver happy so anyway that's how you change the o-rings on your expansion valve guys 
Like always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe down below. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you next time.